So you lost a screw on your amplifier's power terminal, or maybe you bought a used amplifier and some of the screws are missing. How do we determine the correct size of set screw and what type of set screw should we use? I'm Mark, welcome to Car Audio Fabrication, the channel where together we learn how to master car audio and how to design, build, and install our dream car audio system. Real quick, before we get into the content, a quick thank you to our show sponsor, New Concepts. If you're installing an amplifier, you're of course going to need wiring. If you want to get everything you need in a convenient kit, you can check out their amplifier installation kits. This is one of my favorites. This is the Colossus Flex 4 gauge kit. You can see that we get power and ground wire. We get an inline fuse for our power lead, remote turn on wire, some protective loom for the power wire, RCA signal wire, a bunch of OFC speaker wire, zip ties, a fuse, and all of the different terminal connections you need. Learn more at the links down in the video description. So the toolkit we're gonna to be using to identify our missing set screws here on our amplifier is this, a nut and bolt thread checker. I'm gonna have this kit linked down in the video description for you guys, and there's a lot of different options for similar kits out there, but there's a few reasons that I like this particular one. You're gonna see a lot of kits out there will have all of these different parts that we're gonna to use to check the threads. They'll have them all on a string like this. And I actually don't like that because it's just cumbersome and it's hard to use. It's a lot easier to use these to check the threads if they're all individual and separated from one another like this. The kit comes in this nice convenient case and it has this foam that they all press fit down into. And you can see that all the metric sizes are this black metal material whereas all the standard inch sizes are this silver metal material. On this kit, for the size ranges, they range from 632 threads all the way up to half inch 20 threads. And then for metric, there's M4 all the way up to M12. In my experience, this is going to easily cover all of the different terminal sizes and screw sizes that you're gonna see in custom car audio. Now in this video for our example, we're going to be covering this style of set screw terminal, but if you use this type of terminal, don't worry, I have you covered. I'll talk about that more later in the video. So let's actually identify our thread size here. Now I have no idea what thread size this is. I haven't checked this previously, so we're gonna figure this out together. I'm gonna guess that this is probably a metric size, so I'm gonna start with a metric size that looks close. This is M12 that I'm currently checking and it feels like it's a little bit too large. So let's move a size down. Let's check M10. That turns in nice. You definitely don't wanna force the threads and you wanna make sure that this goes all the way, which it does go all the way down. So right here, let's see what we've identified this as. This is going to be an M10 with a 1.5 thread pitch. Just for the sake of showing you guys what not to do, this is also an M10 thread here, which means it's probably going to start easily enough, but we're going to find that once we go a little bit in here, a little bit of the ways, because of the thread pitch being a little bit different, this is an M10 by 1.25 thread pitch, this isn't going to go any further past this. So I wouldn't wanna force that and damage the threads. We're also missing one of our speaker wire terminal screws, so let's check that as well. If I had to guess, let's say this is an M5 maybe. Oh man, I might've got this right off the bat. Yep, this has no trouble threading all the way down in, and this is an M5 by 0.8. So far we've identified the thread size and the thread pitch, but next we need to determine how long of a set screw we need. Ideally, if there's a neighboring set screw that isn't missing, and if you test it in the terminal that you're looking to replace, and you find that it is in fact the same size, we could obviously just measure the length of this set screw. I've got a set of calipers here measuring in metric since this is a metric set screw and we need 16 millimeters. And for our speaker set screw, we need eight millimeters. Now, what if all of the set screws are missing? Well, we can use our set of calipers and we can use this part here in order to take that measurement inside of the terminal. You can see in this case, we do get a slightly different measurement and that's because we're measuring all the way from this top surface all the way to the inside of that depth there. But it does give you a feel for how long of a set screw you're going to need to fully reach the other side. Now, obviously once you add some wire in there, that's going to take up some of the space, which is why instead of using a 20 millimeter long set screw, we're able to use 16. Now, if you don't have a set of calipers, you can of course obviously measure the length carefully using something like like a tape measure. And I know somebody's going to point out, hey, can't you just measure the set screw size anyway without having that kit? Yes, you absolutely can to identify it. But don't forget, in some cases, we don't 
have the set screws. They might all be missing, and it's very difficult to measure female threads with something like a tape measure, especially as they get smaller. So we know our thread size, our thread pitch, and the approximate length of the set screws that we need to get, but what type of set screw should we get? This may come as a surprise to you, but there are many different types of set screws, and the main differences between them are what is on the tip. Typically in car audio amplifiers, you're going to see this style here that has the hex head on top for using an Allen key to tighten it, and then a cup point set screw. The cup point here will bite a little bit better into the wire or wire ferrule, securely holding it in place. And typically the material that you're going to want to use is stainless steel. Now it is typically more of a challenge to find these in smaller quantities online. If you're looking to buy just one or two, you might want to check a local hardware store. But if you do want to get a larger quantity, maybe you're a shop and you just want to have a bunch of these on hand, I'll put a link for you guys down in the video description of some of the different kits that are available out there. Now, speaking of kits, I mentioned earlier in the video that if you have that square type of terminal connector, I have you covered. Determining the thread size on that style of terminal is the same. You can still use this kit to determine that thread. And then you're just going to find yourself a kit that has those thread terminals in that size. Having this kit is helpful for more than just determining amplifier set screw sizes though. As an example, let's say that we're doing a speaker install and we wanna determine the best screw size that we should purchase in order to hold our speakers into our build. Well, with having this kit, we could simply take each of these different screw sizes. You know what, the 632, that's a little bit too loose. Let's try a quarter 20. Oh, that's far too large. That's not gonna fit in there in any way, shape, or form. Let's try a 1024. Oh, that goes in perfect. So if I wanna hold in this particular speaker, I know that I can get some 1024 screws and be good to go. The other aspect of this kit that is useful is let's say that I have a screw from a build and I don't know what size this screw is. Well, each of our checkers here also has the female threads on it so we can test this out here. Let's see if this is the correct screw size that kind of binds up. It's a little bit too big. Let's try an 832 here. That screws onto the screw, no problem. So now I know that my fastener here is an 832 thread. Now, if you'd like to learn more about topics on how we can use advanced fasteners to improve our car audio install, things like this right here, the threaded insert, or if you'd like to learn step-by-step -step how to build custom subwoofer enclosures, check out my related videos here on the channel. Next time you need wiring for a car audio build, don't forget to check out our show sponsor, New Concepts. Learn more at the link down in the video description. A special thanks to them along with Jerry, William, and the rest of the Patreon membership team for making these videos possible. And thank you for tuning in and watching.